Today I am doing a large canvas. This is 24 by 48 and it's going to be super tricky because it's as long as my table is. <laughs> so I don't have much area for runoff. We'll have to see how that goes. Um, I just might make a big old mess and I'm not worried about that. Um, but today I wanted to do just a kind of in the flow painting. That's when I have no real intention um, and I just put some tunes on and I just really go for it. Um, I also have had a bunch of little cups of paint um, in my kitchen uh, and I want to use them up. So I've got a, this is what I call a hodgepodge of paint up front. I know you can't see it very well, but there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 cups of paint. Um, they, we've got a couple of whites, we've got a couple of off-whites, we've got some blues, I've got a phthalo blue, a brilliant blue, a teal uh aqua a ocean green i've got a couple different colors of red i've got i think a red deep hue um i've got some crimson i've got some violet i've got phthalo green i've got a little bit of like a pinky color that i uh, mixed up um and i'm gonna put this on here i'm definitely going to I'm gonna pour it on i'm gonna use the hair dryer probably a little bit and i'm definitely gonna use the airbrush and I'm also going to use the gold. Let me see if I got it right here. Yep. I've got the Liquitex spray paint, the gold. I'll definitely do some, some accents with that. Uh, so this is going to be a lot of fun. And uh, I'm just going to bring you up and point you down, let you see as it, as it, as it uh, transpires. All right, guys, let's do it.
Okay, so I gotta get real high to try to show you guys this whole painting from up above, but uh, this is it after about an hour of settling, so I'm gonna bring you guys in for a closer look. All right, so some of my favorite parts. I love that I didn't go with just straight white up there. I did some of that pink and then some of the, it was almost like a taupey color. And I love the blending that happened there and the blue going into it, The it, that was the ocean green. Um, I always love the gold, the gold pieces. And what's interesting about this is this is gonna look quite a bit different when it dries because most of this blue is phalo blue, so it's gonna get really dark. And then it's mixed with, there's some brilliant blue in there too, so the brilliant blue will pop out. Some of that purple will pop out a little bit more also. Um, and I hope that you can see some of the differentiation of the different colors up there instead of it looking just um, white. I, I love this. I can't wait for it to be dry and see what it looks like and get it mounted on the wall. Um, and then... I'm gonna resin coat this one. So that's it for today. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up and if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button because I have a lot more coming. If you have questions about the materials that I use, I did put a link um, in the descriptions below so you guys can check it out yourselves. Um, but for today, I think that is it and I hope you all take care until next time.